They're all pretending to ignore me. No, they're not pretending, they are. That'll be the going of you two. Except that it's happened already. Well, of course it has, ages ago. Look at me. How safe do you think you are? How safe? And do you want to get rid of me, do you? Hmm. Because I want to get rid of you! Uh, just a minute, Jane. Can't I? I know that whenever I see you, I cause you little else but distaste or distress, or at least your own vintage swinging indifference. But nothing, Jane. Certainly not your swinging distaste can match what I feel for you, or any of those who are more or more like you. I read about you. I see you in the street. I hear what you say. The noises you make, the jokes you make, the wounds you inflict without even longing to hurt. There's no love or fear in any of you. You're all cool and dreamy and young and cool. <laughs> and wear makeup any longer. Your hair looks like a Yorkshire Terrier's coming out of the monsoon. And yet somehow, perversely, you're more beautiful and certainly more dashing than any of the girls that I used to know or lust after from morning to night with sweety, tacky lipsticks, silk stockings on coupon, permanent wave, thick, thick hip heavy skirt. I don't know what you have to do with me at all, and soon you won't. You'll go out that door and I shall not see you again. You know what God's supposed to have said? Well, in Sunday school anyway, God said, he said, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. Seems to me, Jane, little Jane, seems to me that you're on your way at last, all to doing all four of them. Go on now. <laughs>